talking about iconic horror villains that don't get enough credit, the first one that always comes to my mind is Dr. Satan from House of 1000 Corpses. Rob Zombie's cult classic House of 1000 Corpses that had a lot of trials and error during its production ended up becoming one of the most scary and prolific horror movies of the 2000s. There's one character that always dropped my jaw and that is S. Quentin Quayle aka Dr. Satan. Oh, he only appears briefly in the film. His presence is pretty much the central relevance of the entire film. As we know, a group of young adults are traveling across the country looking for oddities and roadside attractions. When they go to Captain Spaulding's Murder and Mayhem Museum, they get entrenched in the lore and fantasy of who Dr. Satan is. Quail was a master surgeon, but he was also completely insane. As an intern at Willows County Mental Hospital, he did a wide variety of surgical torture and brain operations. His goal was to turn inmates into a race of superhumans. And because of his sardonic and sickening ways, he inherited the nickname Dr. Satan. And when local townspeople and villagers found out, they came after him. They dragged him into the forest, sentencing death upon him with vigilante justice, and they hung him from a tree. But the next day, when they went to take his body down, Dr. Satan's corpse had disappeared. Maybe he lives next door to you. The curiosity and mystery of his disappearance became somewhat of an urban legend within the realm of this franchise. So when Bill and his friends stumble upon Captain Spaulding and they learn about, about the infamous story of Dr. Satan, they get a map drawn up so they can go solve the great Deadwood mystery and they stumble upon the sadistic Firefly family where Otis, the ringleader, tells them exactly who Dr. Satan is. He'd really like to know. Enlightening! One of, one of the things I love about this character the most is his image. From his grotesque, disturbing nature to his oxygen mask, his very corpse-like appearance, it's so haunting. Rob Zombie himself had suggested that the end scene of House of a Thousand Corpses when the final survivors do see Dr. Satan is that it's more suggested to be a hallucination than a real life event. He also claimed that there's an earlier cut of the movie that never got brought to fruition where Grandpa Hugo, one of the main Firefly villains, was actually dressed up as Dr. Satan and was trying to scare them into thinking Dr. Satan was real, but they but the movie that they distributed ended up taking the more supernatural approach. Pretty much Uncle Hugo made up the story and told it to Captain Spaulding could lure and trap tourists into going to look for Dr. Satan and the Fireflies could pretty much take them and kill them. So it was pretty much this glorious urban legend for murder. But there is a deleted scene on the sequel, The Devil's Rejects, that actually shows Dr. Satan get some revenge and it's honestly a brutal intense scene that I wish that was part of the franchise. I feel like my biggest issue with The Devil's Rejects has always been after how supernatural the first one was, how the sequel really became more grounded, which is fine, but how fantastical and trippy House of a Thousand Corpses was, they kind of flipped on its head and just took a different approach and it kind of ruined the legacy of House of a Thousand Corpses for me, especially with how infamous and iconic Dr. Satan is. And though Dr. Satan is such a minorly integrated character in the movie, he has become pretty much a fan favorite. And his legend has gone far and above beyond the existence of the films. And it's pretty much left as a mystery and that's what makes it so beautiful to have such an endearing, creepy character with not much backstory around him. It makes people want more. So hopefully one day Rob Zombie does an origin piece about Dr. Satan. The final image that we see of Dr. Satan at the end of House of a Thousand Corpses has always terrified me and it kind of ingrained into my mind. as something that traumatized me as a young kid and to this day, I really I'm fascinated by the character and I wish there was more to That was so badass! Dr. Satan! Ah, Dr. Satan! Alright guys, that's the video. Subscribe, give me a thumber, hit that little dingling button press and you tell me, hey, it's me, I'm here. And I'm gonna say it one time for the one time, the two time for the post. Me, hell yeah. For horror.